Gate front. Update. Gate front. Update. Gate front. Update. Hey. I told you I was gonna leave, but the door is locked. <laughs> hey guys, game front update time. How's it going, James? Uh, it's going really good. Uh, really, really good. Yeah. Really, really, really good. There. I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, That's Facebook. That's a Facebook. Oh, it looks like Facebook. It's, it's my phone. What's on your phone? Uh, it's hold up for it. Right now, I'm <laughs> I'm installing something from the Google Play Store. All right, so uh, we we made an announcement yesterday, or I made an announcement on Twitter yesterday that the GameFront update was going to be late because we had an announcement to make. The announcement is that the GameFront Android app is coming soon. How soon? It's coming now. Oh my God! As soon as James, I just clicked the install. <laughs> so it's accept oh, accept and download. Wow. All right, well, that will download. Uh, so, yeah, as we said, the GameFront Android app is finally live on the Android store. I don't know what is it, is it called something? The 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 robot well, store? The robot store? Well, I, I some people call it the An Android market. Well, in my phone, it's called the Google Play Store. I believe that most people with an Android device will find their apps in the Google Play Store. In fact, the link links you to the Google Play Store. Uh... Yeah, so it's done. That was so simple. I can't right. believe it. I thought that I would be challenged to figure <laughs> out. It's loading now. Wow. Wow. Those are those are videos that we made. They are. Oh, your Tomb Raider video hey. in there. Wow, that's I I didn't think that those would be up, uploaded so fast. I I mean, do they work? Do they work? I hope they work. They work. Do you mind if I watch this? Because I'm trying to beat sure, Tomb Raider right now. Go ahead. Go ahead with the update. Uh, so, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the, the game news recently, James. Uh, you you are... Uh, you want to bring up the GameFront app? No. Yeah, it's huge game industry news. <laughs> Did you see... I mean, it's probably hard for you to see there. This is like... It's so crisp and Oh, come clear. on, James. They're not paying you that much. I feel like I'm there. <laughs> and Mitch's voice is so real. It's like he's right next to me. I just... I'll have to look at this a little bit more later. Oh, you guys should look at it, too. I mean, it's it's available and updated now on the iPhone. So we fixed some of the, some of the issues. There's going to be a lot more videos going in. Um, and, and so it's updated. So please, if you've seen it before, see it again and you'll see some improvement. So yeah, totally revolutionized the gaming industry this week. In other news, uh, SimCity other came news. out. There's no, I don't remember SimCity. <laughs> I know you're trying to block it out, James. You were really excited about this game. And uh, a lot of people were. And for the last, what, three days, no one's been able to play it. And it's, if they have, they've been playing it in very short uh, bursts because the servers are just... Well, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what. The day it downloaded, uh, the very day it came out, it took a long time to download. Understandable. Everybody wants to play SimCity. No, first, let's, let's say, there was no preloading on SimCity. Oh, no, you couldn't preload. You couldn't preload it. Strike number one. Max's oh, look, EA. Hello, strike, it's not good. We should have been able to preload, but they probably just forgot. Strike number one. Uh, so they probably just forgot. Um, and then once it did load, I was able to get into game and and I played it. Uh, I played it for about an hour. Then then my girlfriend was watching my screen. She's like, oh, "That looks pretty cool." And we set it up to our TV and we enjoyed a video game together. We probably played uh, we played SimCity that night for probably an hour and a half. And I was glowing when I went. I was just excited. It's like, wow, a game that my girlfriend actually enjoys watching me play. Uh, and then ne the next morning, I raced to work. So I'm like, I'm gonna make some SimCity videos. It's gonna be great. <laughs> and I wasn't able to get on to the servers. Strike number two: not able uh, to get on to the servers at launch day. But the load screens were pretty fantastic. I gotta say, the time I've spent in the load <laughs> screens were comforting. The the music. Did you reticulate those lines? They reticulate. Okay. And yeah, they are still using the same load <laughs> loading screen. I, thing I think at that point, that's kind of a running joke uh, in in Maxis games. Mm -hmm. So it's not a, a huge. Uh, mm -hmm. You say it like it's a flaw. Well, I would say it doesn't take much effort to just come up with a thousand things to say. <laughs> I mean, it could be a, a fluffing uh, peanut butter. 
uh, anything. Like, you could just put words together and put it on a load screen. I like what they do. It's clever, it's cute, and it's enjoyable. It makes the load screens that I'm sitting at for hours a day not as bad. But just come up with some more, because I've read them all over and over and over again. Can we, every time you die in Dark Souls, can we have a load screen come up that says, James is fluffing peanut butter? <laughs> well, no, not every time. I want a different one every time. Well, yeah, time. that's what I'm saying. You can yeah. have a different one. That could be one example. Um, Make yeah. it happen, James. Petting cats. I mean, there, I just came up with another one. Uh, opening change. Yeah. What's that mean? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just come up with some more random sentences for me to read. It's good practice. But yeah, I, I've been able to play the game, I think... And the first day, I played it the most. And then afterwards, I've been able to get into maybe maybe three matches. Or I guess they're not called matches, three games. Mm -hmm. And it's like it'll be like, okay, cool, I'm in. And I've been playing in a private server so that I can control the different cities. But as soon as I change to a different city, I'm booted. It's like, can't connect to server. And then I'll spend a couple hours at a load screen and like waiting and turning off the game, even shutting down my computer. It's absolutely insane. And then let's bring up Strike 3. Strike 3 is the fact that uh, in an effort to get the servers running, EA has taken out features of the, the core game. This is bullshit! Why? Why, EA? I wanted to play SimCity! I've been waiting for it! I'm sorry, Mitch. I'm sorry, Mitch. That is Zach's chair. Yeah. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Uh, for example, uh, they took out cheetah speed, which is you know the speed that you use to speed things up. And if you know if you're just waiting for something to happen, now you have to wait twice, maybe three times as long for uh, for you to get the enough money to build what? like a new. They took cheetah speed out. Did you not know that? I haven't been able to get into the game, Mitch! <laughs> yeah, they took out Cheetah Speed so they, in, in effort to uh, get the servers running. But that's going to take forever for me to do anything! Exactly. It's, it's, it's also why uh, another story in the news, uh, Polygon, the, uh, the website made up of a lot of really well-known game journalists from different websites that left and they all joined together to form this new Polygon website, uh, they changed their, their SimCity review. It started out as a 9.5, got brought down to an 8, and just recently it got brought down to a 4.0. It's not looking good for, for SimCity, it's, which is really a shame because all signs point to SimCity actually being a really cool game. The time I spent in-game playing was a lot of fun. The music, the visuals, the way people talk. You can do gibberish simlish better than that. Let's let's hear some good simlish. Skip it around. Skip it around. Skip it around. I can talk right. like that all day. That's much better. Thank you. Thank you. It's just I'm upset. Like I really love SimCity, mm -hmm. and I I might just have to start playing uh, either Cities XL or SimCity two, four, four uh, anything. I just can't. It's so frustrating. And the worst part about it is SimCity is a single-player game that they have now forced you with DRM to always be online. That's really the core of this problem, because it, this would not be a problem no. if you didn't have to sign into EA service. And you know game. what? I don't want to get down on anything. I love almost every game I've played. The games I can't get into get frustrating. But it seems to me like EA went into this thinking to themselves, how are we going to make sure that people play this single-player game online only? We need to have some justification. Oh, we'll have it so that you have to be neighbors with someone in order to play. Why? And, you know, I read an article on Kotaku uh, detailing the, the problem with that, is that you can have someone completely troll you. You can have, you can rely on this one town for, like, this one resource and, you know, make, make a huge town and get all this kind of thriving industry. And then if that person suddenly stops playing or they, you know, stop providing you with that, that resource, your town is fucked. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah. There's a lot of problems with uh, with SimCity. It's unfortunate. I think the core game uh, seems really exciting. I played a couple of the the betas and I, I had fun. I'm not really a SimCity person, but yeah. I had a good time with it. I'm kind of a Sim myself. 
And what I've decided to do is I'll play with friends, but I'm not going to play with strangers. I'm not really that into playing with strangers. Mm -hmm. uh, but most of what I'm going to do is set up a private server, invite nobody into it, Still have to be online though, mm -hmm. and, and I'll just control all three cities. Yeah. Uh, well, it depends on what platform. I've been playing in the three city small area just so that I can get a good understanding of the game. Um, but I'm I'm probably not going to allow anybody to come into my games because of exactly what you're saying. Yeah, it's like what if I set myself up with a city that's fully functional, but I rely on somebody else to bring me water, and all of a sudden they're like, eh, not going to give you any water anymore. Or any any of you could make a, many scenarios that it could be like. You could make a water plant. <laughs> you could, but what if you have set yourself up where you've polluted the ground so terribly <laughs> because you just didn't care about the land yeah. that now you can't drill for water? Yeah, you're, you're right. Um, so let's let's move. I think we've we've kind Please, of talked I, about I, some cities. Yeah, make I said it, it is. I I actually hope that next week. Do you this want is this just... hat to guide to cover your eyes so that they can't see the tears? I mean, no. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a real man to cry about important things like SimCity not working. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, another thing I wanted to get your thoughts, and more importantly, your guys' thoughts. Uh, let us know in the comments what you feel about this situation. Uh, the internet is very mad at Adam Sessler. He, uh, he touched a nerve. Uh, he had a review for, for God of War Ascension. Mm -hmm. He gave it a 3 out of 5, but I think the reason why people are mad at him is not because of the 3 out of 5 so much, but because of the fact that he, uh, he really went off on this one part in the game where apparently Kratos curb stomps a female boss in the game. Uh, and it's very violent, apparently. Uh, but the, the kicker was that after you do that, a trophy pops up that says bros before hoes. Mm -hmm. And his, uh, his thought was that was very misogynistic and it made him shameful to be identify himself as a God of War fan uh, when the series is willing to do something like that. Yeah. So what do, what do you think about that? I mean, I am 100%, and this is coming from a guy that uses a swear jar and like tries not to curse, but I would never want to censor somebody else. And I don't think that we should give them a hard time about it. And I, will people be offended? Of course they will. But I think that more so than, than it being bros before hoes or anything, think about the fact that you're curb stomping somebody. You're curb stomping someone. That's pretty bad in itself. If you're going to be like, we're going to call that bros before hoes. What's going wrong with the world? You're curb stomping someone. <laughs> you're taking their head and you're busting out their teeth by curb stomping them. Right? That's true. Is that, it better to do to a guy than a girl? That's that, I think that's the point that many people uh, are making in, in the comments. I mean, I would say that you shouldn't curb stomp a man, a woman, an elderly, an elderly a baby, uh, you should, that's just something you shouldn't do. Will we suspend our disbelief and live uh, vicariously through a video game and do disturbing things? Yeah, probably. And at least we're not going to a coliseum and seeing it happen. You know, at least we're more evolved than that. Mm -hmm. What about taking an, an elephant beast, sticking your, your blade of chaos into its head, cutting open its head, it's a, the brain kind of wolves out while his eye is like, oh, uh, uh. What about that? Would that be okay? I mean, I don't see... Because that's what you, you do in God of War. Here's the thing. If you're times. going into God of War and you're like, Oh, man, this is violent. Then you've wasted your money and you're a foolish consumer. Uh -huh. You're a foolish consumer. There's never been anyone that was like, Oh, this is a family game. You will enjoy this with your children. You're going to do some curb stomping. You're going to be seeing eyeballs twitching out of an elephant head. And then brainy, <laughs> squirmy things come out of them. <laughs> what do you think you're going to get from God of War? It's true. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think, A, I think it was it was tasteless of, of Sony Santa Monica to put that trophy in there. Why? Because it's just, it's, there's, a, there's an environment right now going on in the game industry where uh, sexism is, is a really hot topic. Um, there's a lot of people that are really hotly involved in both sides. And... Uh, I just think that the controversy wasn't really worth. I think I think it was tasteless. That's that's really uh, all. all the I have to whole say about that. game is tasteless. If you're buying God of War, you're into a tasteless thing. All uh -huh. right. I'm sorry. I'll probably play it. I'm into tasteless stuff. Now, but let me, let me just 
Go ahead. Let I'm me sorry. say. Even though I say it's tasteless, did it? Would it affect my personal enjoyment of the game as a whole? No, it probably wouldn't. I would say that that was that wasn't very cool. But then I would continue on and would not have an impact in my enjoyment of the game. But because, like you said, I do. Uh, I do know what to expect when going into a God of War game. I would just say that, you know, maybe crossed the line a little in terms of uh, misogyny. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not supporting misogyny at all. And I don't want to make people think that I'm some sort of a monster. It's just that if you're going to be playing a game that's always pushing the edge, like God of War has always been a more violent game, right? Mm -hmm. And the more people buy it, the more that they're like, okay, this is what our fans want. We're going to take artistic direction towards that direction. And when they start pushing the edge, instead of saying they shouldn't do it, you should say, okay, well, I'm no longer interested in this series. And that's how you can make a change, I think, more so than just bitching and complaining about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, and let me also say I am not bitching. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that you are, Mitch. I am not saying that you are. No. Uh, I have actually never heard you complain about something like that. You'll bring up the topics. No. But I just don't. I think that people are wasting their breath getting upset with people that uh, are for or against it. All you have to do is take yourself out of the equation. Don't play God of War. Mm -hmm. Remember when <clears throat> this reminds me of when there was the coding inside of uh, Dead Island where there was some animation that if you read the scripting of the game, it said feminist whore. Yeah. What? People are upset about this? Don't read the scripting of the game. And if It you're wasn't so... supposed to be in the game anyway. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be there. And even if you do read it and you're offended, you could then put down the game and be like, well, I don't want to play this anymore. And you're totally okay with that. But you spent money and you're supporting somebody's artistic vision. And please don't ever try to censor people out of doing it. I think people should have the right to say curb stomp uh, a woman or whatever, not in real life. <laughs> I'm saying if they're going to create a piece of art, and video games are art, period, I won't hear the argument that they're not, then, then we have to let them have that freedom. And our choice is whether or not we purchased it and go along with the series. Uh, I have never really gotten into the God of War series. Um, and this isn't selling me on it. I'm not like, oh, wow, this game's really taking it to the curbing women phase. Gotta get into the series. Uh, but where was I going with that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't like to hear people get really upset because it, the moment we start telling people not to do something is when we start get boxing ourselves further in, and I don't know. I... As somebody that's on stage that does things that are improvised a lot, and a lot of what we do here is improvised, I don't want to have to constantly worry about what if I say something wrong, because I'm just speaking, I'm just speaking off the cuff. If I start worrying about that, then the things I say are going to be fake, and I want to be legitimate. You know what? I, I'm glad you're not wearing this because I can see the sincerity in your eyes, James. Yeah, thank you. I am sincere. I don't like censorship. I try not to, I want to be the type of artist that anybody can watch, so, and I know I've cursed quite a bit in this, and maybe I'll bleep some of it out, but in total, I want to be more marketable to even families. I don't want to alienate certain people that would be upset by it, but if I chose that market, uh, I don't, I don't want to hear people give me crap about it, don't watch it, you know? Mm-hmm. All Sorry. right. Well, I, I get no, really was, passionate about that. That stuff. was a great, uh... Great passionate speech that you had there, James. Thank you. In fact, I'm sure people people are high fiving their screen. So why don't you hold your hand out? Oh, not the, oh, face. the face! I thought you were gonna high five me. <laughs> I think I got a black eye out of that. Oh. Uh, so right. what do you think, Mitch? I'm sorry. I well, went on a I huge pretty much, I pretty much did say what I think. I I think I do think it was it was tasteless to have that that trophy pop up at that point. Mm -hmm. um, do I think it's worth? boycotting God, God of War Ascension? No. Do I think it's worth uh, decking a point in the score of God of War Ascension? No, I don't. And I don't really know if Adam Sessor really did do that. Uh, there were a lot, of, a, a lot of people in the comments of his video say that, you know, he basically said that the game was great except for that. That's not exactly true. I do think that God of War Ascension is probably the, the worst of the three games. And I that's, thought there was four. I meant the three main main games in the series. Okay, I'm not uh, I, I'm not trying to correct you. I just yeah yeah. I, yeah I just didn't know. And when I say that, let me also preface that by saying I think that all three God of War games are stellar. They're three of the best action games I think 
of all time. Mm -hmm. um, and when I say that it's the worst of the three, I mean that it's you know, slightly below an A+. Plus. Okay, I don't want to, like, there's God of War 1, right? God of War 1, God of War 2, God of War 3, God of War Ascension. So how, didn't you just say this is the third one? No. Okay, maybe, but maybe I must have missed it. Did Richard. I say it's the best, of, uh, worst of, of the, the three? three? Yeah. I meant of... I'm not trying to call you out. I know okay. what you mean now. I was just making sure that I wasn't crazy because I thought that there was a God of War three already. What I meant to say was compared to the the three games in the okay. series, it's it's the worst. I'm with you. And I know you. there are more than three games in the series. I'm talking about the main trilogy okay. because that's what I've played. Okay. No, I'm totally with you now. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's that's basically my thought. I'm I I hate to say it, I'm kind of apathetic on on the the feminist issue. I I. I want, like, you know, I really want to support uh, females, but at the same time, I'm not a female. I can't actively, you know, tr force myself to care as much as, you know, some other people might about the topic. Uh, and and I'll, on that same thing is I, I, believe it or not, I'm also not a female. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. Spoiler, <laughs> I'm a man. Uh, but I, I'm not that into the video game industry. I don't understand it, so I'm not going to say one way or the other. Uh, but for comedy, I am kind of on the feminist side. And I don't even know if there is a feminist yeah. movement yet. I think there should be. And and there's a lot of people that... And in the comedy scene, there is a lot of people that are not into women comics, women doing comedy. And, and recently, and not nearly enough, we've been seeing more women comedies such as Bridesmaids. Did you see that movie? Yeah, I, well, no, I actually didn't see that, but I thought it, it looked great. It, I, it got, I enjoyed it. it. I'm sure there's people that didn't like it, but I thought that that was a really big moment for women in comedy because for the first time, women weren't going into this, this show to look beautiful and have, like, gross things that were... <laughs> and I'm sorry, let me take away gross things. The, it wasn't about women's beauty and how awestruck people are by them. They were real people dealing with real problems, and there was some gross stuff. Now, if you look back like 10 years before that with something about Mary, now Cameron Diaz, right? Yeah. She's beautiful. I love her. Uh, I think she was very funny in that movie, but that's where I think that we were kind of looking at women in comedy, and I want to see women portray more realistic roles like I feel a lot of them were in Bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. I think I think Tina Fey does a great job with women in comedy and there needs to be more stuff Tina like Tina Fey is amazing. She is. <laughs> and and that's like I am really into a women's movement in comedy. I can't say that I'm against a women's movement in video games. I just don't understand it. Yeah. You know, uh, the majority of women that I personally know aren't video game fans. I can barely get my girlfriend to play any video games. Mm. And when I worked as a tester and things, I would say it would be at most one woman to every 20 guys. Mm -hmm. And is it because they're being held back? I'm not sure. Most of those, uh, most of the people working there didn't know how to treat women respectfully and it's probably, I, I, I don't know, there was a lot of a lot of sexism in the workplace just because there was a lot of guys that are testers that don't, I'm going to say some things that people might be upset about, but they're, they're disgusting human beings. <laughs> they're the most grubby, grubby <laughs> of all men and when you put a woman in that scenario, they, they don't, it's not that they're treating them any worse, but it's hard for people to want to be around some of the people that were there either way. And then to be isolated in, a, in your sex, to be around these people, can't be comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, what the change needs to make, I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's any reason that... The, there, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I just don't see... Um, I don't see the, the big picture of the feminist movement for video games, so I can't say either way, but from experience, I don't know why they would want to deal with some of the people that are into the industry right now. Oh. Well, let's just, closing thoughts, I think uh, the one thing I, I want people to do is this is kind of a topic that makes people go crazy on, on, you know, on the anti-feminism side. I've seen probably the most hateful comments I've ever seen uh, posted in feminist videos. So just stop. Stop letting it make you go crazy. Don't don't like give rape threats to Anita Sarkeesian because What? Yeah, she gets rape threats. This is it's like it's crazy the kind of vile things that people say just because a woman is uh complaining about, you know, her her situation or you know, she uh 
she feels like she's being kept down. I yeah, that's insane. Yeah. That's absolutely insane. And do I want to censor those people? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But I mean, at the same time, I do feel like we shouldn't arrest somebody that types something like that. But I would just hope that we're more evolved than that. That we don't have to say things that are dis that that are so destructive to to our our society. Why can't it's like why do we want to destroy ourselves? Yeah, please be compassionate with each other. And there's a lot of times that people are arguing with each other in the comment section where I feel it goes too far. Uh, to some extent, that's fun in games, but please, there's some lines that don't need to be said. Don't cross those lines, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. If you do, I'm not going to censor you, but I'm certainly not going to think very well of you, <laughs> you know? All right, well, that was a very long and kind of uh, the tone of that game for an update shifted very yeah. substantially yeah. towards the end there. I mean, at the beginning, we were talking about the most important moment in video game history. Uh -huh. And then we've moved into some of the darkest times. And just to reiterate, the most important moment in video game history is that the GameFront app is now on Android devices and the iPhone devices, which it already was on, or the, the iOS But devices. it's updated now. It's I updated. mean, this changes everything. 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 You could be playing a video game, and instead of having to go to your computer over here while you're playing your console over here, and like search, how do I beat Dark Souls? You can just have the expert walk through next to you, so you could step by step do the same thing and beat the game. Oh, that's how I beat Nito. <laughs> yes, that's how you beat Nito. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like. Comment, and especially comment with uh, your own thoughts on what we've talked about. Uh, but let's keep it clean. Yeah, keep it clean. Uh, don't send rape threats towards anyone. Yeah, that's too far. That's way too far. Uh, and subscribe. Crotch shot. <laughs> Ooh. That there's a, a waterfall over here that will douse the flame, but the slide will go right past the waterfall. So, here's what we got to do. First, we're going to free this thing over here. That will drop that. That will cause some barrels to